This movie is based on a true story, and I'll go ahead and let you know, if you were directly affected by the financial crisis in the housing market in 2008, this really is going to hit close to home for you. I'm Brendan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So The Big Short is directed by Adam McKay, and I was really surprised when I heard he was attached to this and after I seen the film. I mean, this is the same guy that wrote and directed Step Brothers and Anchorman and the other guys. So for him to be behind such a serious film, I have to give him credit where credit is due. He did an amazing job. It has a great cast with Christian Bale, Ryan Gosling, Steve Carell, and Brad Pitt. They all did a fantastic job. And as you know, this is about the credit and the housing market and how it crashed in 2008. And there can be a lot of terms that's being thrown around in this film that you don't understand. And that's one of the best things that I liked about it. You know, everyone doesn't understand adjustable rate mortgages and subprime loans and CDOs and synthetic CDOs and ISDAs and all this other jargon. And when they're throwing all of that to you off the screen, it can get a little confusing. But at the same time, I love what, what Adam McKay did. I mean, he just sit there and stop and has someone look at the camera and explain it to you. Whether it was a character in the film stepping out of character or just literally jumping out of the film and saying, hey, we have so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so celebrity and they're in a hot tub right now and they're going to explain it to you. And the film would just jump over it and they would stop and give it to you in a great analogy and lamest terms for you to understand. And I really did love that. So anyone can see this film and enjoy it and get a full understanding of what happened in 2008. And I don't care how much you think you know about what happened. I guarantee that you will learn a lot more after you see this film. I know that for myself. I know that because after the movie let out, everybody was in the lobby talking about it, saying the same thing. Oh my gosh, I thought I knew what was going on, but now I have more insight in when that's what's going on. And when a film can teach you something that you didn't know from the past and also inspire you to go home and look it up and do your own research, in my opinion, that's a good film, and the film did that. I also like how honest the film was. Since this is based on a true story, I will say about 97% of it is true, and the other 3%, they admitted it saying, okay, hey, this portion right here did not go down exactly like this. It went down like this, but we're gonna tell it to you like this. I don't know why they did it that way, but it worked. And it made me respect the film more and everyone behind it and everyone involved. Out of the four main actors, I say the one that did the best is Christian Bale. He just didn't care, or at least his character did, and the way he portrayed him was great. I mean, when he was up, he was up, and when he was down, he was down. And I really felt for him through all of that. Now, towards the end of the film, things did get a little repetitive, but I think that's just because they wanted you to really understand what was going on in this financial crisis. And you know, you really do. There's not too much more that I can say bad about it. It's not the best movie that I've seen in my entire life or all year, but it is damn good and really entertaining and it's very insightful and informative and there's something that at least someone can take something away from. If I had to rate this film out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Yes, a 9 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen The Big Short? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you off? Have I turned you on? Do you agree with me? Or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you liked the video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a reason why in the comment section below and still give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can become one of my subscribers and get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. Go ahead and look at the bottom of the screen so you can find out what else you can find me, whether it's the website, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. And guys, share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video. But guys, thank you again for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.